Hello, my name is Naruse Maeno. I want to talk about eating disorder. I introduce flow of presentation. Firstly, I am going to explain a rough outline of the introduction. Secondly, I am going to explain the risk of eating disorder. Finally, I am going to introduce a chance of solving people who suffered from eating disorder. First, I explain a rough outline of the introduction. Do you know eating disorder? What kind of disease is it? This is a disease that you can't control and eat food. In other words, you can't control your appetite and eat too much. The problems related to meals continued very long time and it is characterized by strong sticking to body shape and weight. There are various kinds of eating disorder. In this presentation, I will pick up two famous. Firstly, I explain about anorexia. It is called Kyoshokusho in Japanese. Anorexia is a symptom that makes unreasonable dietary restrictions and fasting disorder repeated, resulting in failure to accept food. Anorexia is common in adolescents. Mental stress and diet are often triggered. Even if you lose weight, you can't affirm yourself, so you feel a strong feeling of guilt against eating. Therefore, no matter how much weight you lose, you can't stop eating restrictions, eventually the body will not accept food. Secondly, I explain about bulimia. It is called Kashokusho in Japanese. Bulimia is a symptom that eating a large amount of food in a short time without controlling appetite. Bulimia has a various kinds. There are two patterns in this. One is a pattern when it repeatedly eats overeating, and the other is a pattern when it repeats overeating and vomiting. Overeating, vomiting is overeating and then blames oneself severely, falling into depressed feelings. In addition, Patients don't want to gain weight. They will try to vomit and try to eliminate what they ate. Bulimia is the opposite of anorexia. Feels abnormal appetite. Patients can't control oneself and continue to eat an abnormal quantity. It may cause bulimia after anorexia. Eating disorder is a problem not only in Japan, but also in foreign countries. Some famous people in foreign countries also suffer from eating disorder. For example, Lady Gaga. She is a famous singer all over the world. She also suffered from eating disorder in her teens and she is repeatedly refusing food and overeating until now. 
and one person, Ruby Collins. She is a very famous actress and has appeared in numerous works. She also suffered from eating disorder and had repeatedly vomiting. Apart from what I introduced, people suffering from eating disorder. People who are still suffering now are many regardless of whether they are in Japan or abroad. Second, I am going to explain the risks of eating disorder. I explain the dangers from the two perspectives of anorexia and bulimia. Firstly, I will introduce the risk of anorexia. It is an example of symptoms occurring in anorexia. Immune deficiency When the immune system is lowered, resistance to virus becomes weak and it tends to be affected by various diseases. It is also prone to disease such as osteoporosis in which bone strength decline and bone breaks easily. Secondary, I will introduce the risk of bulimia. It is an example of symptoms occurring in bulimia. There is a disease called acid erosion that acidic food and drink and gastric juice melts parts of enamel covering the teeth. There is also a disease called reflux esophagitis in which food in the middle of being digested by gastric juice and the stomach flows back into the esophagus and the esophagus causes inflammation. These are dangerous diseases that can be the worst death. Third, I am going to introduce a chance of solving people who suffered from eating disorder. Causes are not a single cause, such as a tribal reason or conversely suffering from an eating disorder for complicated reasons. For example, a diet I wanted to lose weight, a belief that I was fat, stress, or bearing. Therefore, to solve the eating disorder, it is necessary to find a cure that suits each person. For example, Lady Gaga. The chance for her to overcome overeating vomiting was being a singer. She learned the influence of stomach acid excreted by vomiting on the vocal cords. She knew that overeating vomiting was dangerous. She put the brakes the symptoms. Jenny Schaefer's way of overcoming is very individual. She caught eating disorder by externalizing it. In other words, another thing that is related to herself. She named the eating disorder itself, Edu, and personified it. Little by little over time, she did not just obey the voice of desire, but she could have registered that desire with her thoughts and opinions. From these things, I think that 
having a certain intention of myself, having a goal that I want to do something in the future will be the first step to overcome eating disorder. Thank you for listening my presentation.